Good day everybody, today you're going to learn how to make your computer run as smoothly as mine while recording. And that all very easily on your laptop with one USB stick and you can get it installed. I do want to tell you this is a complete new installation of Windows, so make sure you back up your files. If you don't know what to do, we have an upcoming video actually about this. You can back up your files and install all of your apps with just a few commands and very fast. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. But let's get started with this best Windows 11 installation, which will increase your performance and also with some handy features. And even more important, accessibility to all Windows features if you want to without any struggle. Before we can begin on the laptop, I first need to make this USB stick, or actually you. I already made one, but I'm gonna show you how. Very easily, the first thing we need to do is to go in the link in the description, and then make sure you grab this link. And if you want, you can always feel my live USB stick, so everything I have on it, or all ISOs that I've saved. Once you copy and paste the link, you will be brought to this website, which is our company's website very amazing and here we have the link to the google drive which i have shared with you very easily go spectre and then 24h2 which means the half of 2024 that's the latest version at this date but if you really want the latest version make sure you check out the official go spectre youtube channel so make sure you already start the download then i highly recommend you get fantoy because it's very easy to boot your usb stick Make sure you check out this video because here I showed you how to make a Fento USB stick. After making a USB stick like that, you should have something like this, Fentoy, and that's a USB drive. So let's click on it and then you can place anything you want here. You can easily access it on another computer, for example, my laptop. And right here I have in Windows the Go Spectre ISO, which you can easily download on our website. After completing all that, just grab your laptop and also USB stick, plug it inside your computer very easily. Make sure it is in correctly. I mean that it is inserted correctly. Then very easily just start up your laptop and you have to go to your BIOS, which can be F2, delete, F10, but it will depend on your laptop's manufacturer. For me, I already know how to get to the BIOS, which is F2 for me. So try to figure it out. You can easily do it by searching your laptop and also names that you see on it. For example, this is a HP Elite Book. And right here, you can actually see it's an Elite Book 8470p. You can also sometimes find it underneath your laptop. And 9 out of 10 times, if you remove the battery, you should be able to see it right here. The HP Elite Book 8470p. Very easy. Well, if you know the button of your BIOS, just easily press it while it's starting up. And now it says Express Boot because it pressed the wrong button. So once you press the correct key, you should easily go to the BIOS, which can also be different per person. But actually, if you see Boot Device Options, I recommend you first go there. With a Fentor USB stick, you actually require to turn off Secure Boot and actually boot it in Legacy, 9 out of 10 times depending so right here i can easily go to security and sometimes you find secure boot right here in security tab but very quickly not to waste your time just go to boot options if you see them in system configuration or something you have to make sure that it is on legacy and what i like to do is to put the usb stick as priority which means it starts up as first which means i don't really have to do any trouble after doing that press f10 and then save changes after doing that, it should actually easily start up to your USB stick Fentoy or require you to select an option, which is probably a USB stick. But right here, you can see that it already switches to Fentoy. Now, select Go Spectre very easily and then make sure you boot in normal mode. And after doing that, it will boot into your Windows 11 installation. If you require any more support, please comment down below so we can directly help you. Also, make sure to check out our promotions. We're trying our best to promote the best services possible with the best advice we can actually give. For example, our Reddit community. And we also have Discord down below, by the way. Just check it out. You can chat with us. Tech tips, YouTube advice, mental advice, whatever you need. We are here for you. 
Well, very easily, the first screen you're probably going to see is something like this. Right here, we need to install your Windows 11 installation, which is Ghost Spectre. Just click here on the Windows icon, which is Windows Setup. Then make sure you select the newest version. After doing this, just select your own preference language. For me, it's English, so let's go. The next is keyboard, very easily, just continue. And we want to install Windows 11 and agree to deleting all data. Make sure you back up your files before you continue. Don't continue if you are scared to lose some files. I highly recommend you get a hard drive or something, Google Drive, OneDrive, whatever. If it's enough storage for all your files on your PC, get it on there, backed up before you continue. So right here, just click on next. After doing this, click on I don't have a product key. You don't even have to enter your own product key. It should already be activated. So right here, let's click on it and then it's going to get things started. Well, this one, I've actually only been experimenting with Compact. So I recommend you click on that one and then plus Dev, which means you get Windows Defender. And the rest is actually super light, which means that some Windows features, for example, phone link or uh, widgets or something like that, is all disabled and some apps might not work. For example, if you use Xbox, uh, I really recommend you keep it com to Compact because Xbox requires a lot of Microsoft services and if you turn those off, it won't work. So your Xbox games won't even work. Um, keep it to Compact plus Dev. It's highly recommended. Or just keep it on Compact. If you already have an antivirus, you can use it. So right here, let's go to Dev and click on Next. Right here, just agree to the terms of services. Right here, accept. While we're already here, just uh, click subscribe down below. It's very easy. Right here. Okay, so here we have the drive itself. Normally, you would have to click on delete partition first, which means you delete all your partitions. Make sure that you know the size of your uh, drive because otherwise you're deleting the wrong drive. If you're on a PC, there's a possibility of disk one, disk zero, disk two, something like that. For me, it's only disk zero, but be very careful. There's only one disk that you have to delete and that's your Windows disk. So right here, after deleting it, uh, just click on next. It's that easy. Very easily, we are ready to install. Click here on install. Well, speed up the process. I'll be right back after this install. Well, after a while, you should probably be seeing something like this, Windows installing and all. I just came back, but that's just the installation. If you have any more questions, just comment down below. I'm waiting uh, for this install. Try my best. Voila, it is. Windows 11 you want it very easily you don't even have to log in with Microsoft so let's uh, follow these steps very easily uh, just click on yes and all that it's not very difficult right here US yeah that's my keyboard I don't have a second keyboard layout I just want to give an update Windows 11 is annoying they fixed uh, the patch wherefore you can use a local account to log in that's also how I logged in into mine, but they changed it and it annoys me. So just enter your Microsoft account and then continue. By the way, the reason why they did this is so you can easily buy a OneDrive subscription or Office or something. It's easier than having an account than not having one. Hello, Microsoft. Why are you so annoying? I did find a way, but it's because I'm using a virtual machine. I turned off Wi-Fi. I restarted the computer and then I got this so it is possible but yeah they make it more complicated let's just click on next and then next don't need a password right now well you do I really recommend it just a moment and you got your windows installation. after installing it you will get this amazing intro spectre it's only once uh it's with a free fresh installation after that happens you got this screen right here which is your new windows after that, you will get this pop up and then, for example, press one, which is completely fine. And then on enter, which is actually your Windows version. Do mind that this is Windows 11 Enterprise, but it should be activated. And if not, just let me know down below. We start is required the first time you start up. So after doing that, we can actually start by configuring the basics you need to use your computer. What I recommend you do is go to Ghost Toolbox. 
make sure you have wi-fi and that's right below right here make sure you have internet which is very important otherwise you can't continue this step you will see things like please wait and updating just let it run don't really touch it after waiting you will see this screen which is very useful and don't be scared it's very easily we want to retrieve the microsoft store which is number 10 you can see that right here so make sure you type 10. after doing that make sure you press enter because we're going to reinstall microsoft store so most of the apps you use are going to work for example photos doesn't exist media player is the legacy version which i don't use so let's get all the new ones after doing that you have access to microsoft store we want to install microsoft store so we can actually download all of these files ourselves instead of right here by the way you've probably noticed it but there is no browser microsoft edge is also disabled you can easily install it with ghost toolbox so let's open another prompt and after doing that we can go to the installer tab and type number 51 which will allow you to choose your own personal internet browser very easy for example brave is one i really love so i'm gonna press number two and then download brave which means you can access the internet and then you want to install for example nvidia drivers amd intel uh all that so you can actually play games and all that. What I also recommend you do while we're waiting, if you have fast Wi-Fi, check for some updates. They, these are postponed, but you can easily just click here on resume and will easily just work. No trouble and no extra work. This will actually search for all the updates. You will see it spamming a lot of updates probably. Right here in advanced options, we can find more and optional updates once it has found more updates and drivers so just install all of that all your drivers you normally do if you have an nvidia graphics card just go to the nvidia website amd the same get the auto detect to download all your drivers well right now my browser brave is installed i will very easily give you an example i have an nvidia graphics card which means i type nvidia drivers then download for example then i want to go to the official website and download it from them Right here, we have manual search, which we don't want. Let's scroll down. I mean, upwards, it's right here. Best for gamers, creators, or professionals, workstation users. You can easily get it for gamers and creators. It doesn't really matter. It will work. NVIDIA app is very nice to have. I really highly recommend you install it. Right here, I just have to install it very easily, like you normally do. And after this, I can almost play games. We need two other things. These are very useful to prepare if you want to install games go to the toolbox again let's go back to the main menu or just start up a new prompt always make sure that your drivers are downloading uh you could probably have an audio driver you probably want to install maybe listen to some music while waiting or watch a movie i don't know right here at this main menu we have highly recommended to install and then right here we have visual cs uh, c and reduce to goals and all that you need that or a one very useful let's go to that one and then install DirectX, which will allow you to play games open all apps and all that no problem and this is what you normally also install on a normal windows 11 we actually get the top one just press one right here and then install all of that it will pop up like this just click on next just continue install all of that and then go to DirectX. very easily if you have done that you should probably be able to game and all that it depends on your own graphics card, your drivers and all that. Make sure you install everything, update it all, and it will probably work. There are probably many other things I could get my hands into to show you how this all works and how you can optimize it and all. I am also using Ghost Spectre on my main system. So if I have ever any more ideas, I will always share them with you. You have to comment down below if you have any questions about this OS or you're experiencing trouble. And it is completely normal. This is a lightweight Windows 11 installation, which is great for gaming performance and all that. I highly recommend it for actually everyone because it is this easy to install. I will just shut down my VM before it's gonna blow up my laptop. Actually, don't think that Spider-Man can uh, extinguish fires. You right there, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're doing our best with all the advice we can give. And this is Personally, my favorite Windows 11 installation. I highly recommend that you get it too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one with upcoming 
videos about the backup your files within seconds, just a easy command and install like a million apps you use daily on a new system. Get started quickly, easily. That's me. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.